Hi, I'm Jake Tucker from Esports Pro, and we're coming to you live from Cologne. So, um, today we've got a chance to uh, get our hands on the upcoming content coming to Rainbow Six Siege with the forthcoming Blood Orchard update. And uh, we played with three new operators, so that's the new attacker Ling, Defenders, Legion, and Ela. And that's in a bomb defusal match on the new map, Theme Park. Now, you can see the, uh, you can see the footage playing out now while I talk. And now we're just going to offer you some of the direct thoughts on the operators. Now it's uh, it's interesting. I think all of the new operators are themed around kind of traps and gadgetry. And um, while the game that you're seeing now is my first, I also got to play them a little bit more in a queue jump. So I didn't just play them in a four versus four. Now um, let's start with Ella, who you should see on the screen now. Now. Uh, Ella is the Polish Grom operator. She's a defender and she's a free speed one arm operator. Um, now she's got a Scorpion Evo SMG, which is a complete beast. Um, first time I fired it, I got a uh, double kill. And she's also got the Silent 612 shotgun. Now, I mean, what, uh, what Ella does primarily is she runs around the place flanking. Now, uh, her weapons. Her weapons are very, very powerful up close. But she also has. Uh, she also has a gadget, which are uh, concussion mines. So these uh, mines are non-lethal, and they can be hidden around the place, um, tossed at uh, walls and floors. And what they do is they leave like a little, uh, a little stick out of them with a glowing dart on it. So if you see that, you can avoid it. But if not, it'll uh, it'll detonate, and then there's an explosion. That, again, doesn't do any damage, but it will slow them down, and it also messes with their view in a similar way to. Uh, Echo's drone back from the Japanese update. And that means that uh, you can actually throw these mines around the place to to cover your flanks, you know? So as you are charging in on people, you can cover all your flanks with this mine. And then if someone kind of tries to outflank you or they rotate to uh, to defend against your flank, you actually you could make it much easier for yourself to clean up. And... I think this is a really powerful thing because at least in uh, at least for pro league she's going to uh, she's going to be played anyway because she's a she's a free one operator so she's free speed one armor and they they see a lot of play professionally but it also means that she can actually defend herself while she's uh, while she's out roaming so I see her being played as a slayer so that basically means she'll be running around the place killing as many people as possible and. I just, I, I feel like she, at least, was the one that immediately clicked for me. Now, uh, Ling, the new attacker, is uh, two speed, two armor. And she's not afraid that she has a lot of firepower. So she brings a T95 LSW, so that's a light machine gun. And it's quite controllable, gives a bulb up. And it, that means it's got manageable recoil. And it's got masses of ammo, so you can use this to literally shred walls. Now, she's actually the only, def she's actually the only attacker added to the... Uh, added to the party with this and she also has the 612 shotgun um which every operator has although hers is not silenced and i mean both of her weapons are very loud but that doesn't make any difference because her gadget is a trio of devices called the candela devices now a candela is a ball filled with flashbangs basically and uh, you can use it to blind everyone around you and ling's immune to her own flashbangs but they work in an interesting way because you can throw them as a grenade and you can also put them on a wall like fuse and you can blast through in the same way that fuses cluster charges go off, um, blinding everyone in the room. But the longer that you hold the button when you deploy the device is the fuse. So you can throw a grenade really closely at someone and you can blind them instantly or you can throw it and hold it down for a longer fuse so you can bowl it through a drone hole or throw it through a window or... You could time it so that just as you assault the room, everyone in it gets blinded. I think it'll take a little bit of work for people to work out the exact optimal way to use her. But I also think that she has some of the most powerful potential. I mean, if well, well, I mean, when pro players get hold of her, there's a chance that they could quickly work out how to get her flash to go off exactly as they enter a room. And it's much easier to shoot a room full of blind people. Now, um... This is interesting because she could prove very, very popular in a lot of Rainbow Six Siege's uh, hostage situations because um, in a hostage, a fuse is always popular because they're reinforced in a room. The problem is that if you use fuse 
on the actual hostage room, you'll kill the hostage, whereas in this case, because it's entirely not damaging, there's there's more of an option there. Now, um, the third operator is Legion. Now, uh, Legion has, uh, he's got the 612 SD. You should be familiar with that by now. Everyone's got that, uh, everyone has that shotgun. And he's also a 2-2 operator, but he has a T5 SMG, which honestly felt a lot weaker than, uh, felt a lot weaker than Ela's Scorpion Evo. And I think that's because Legion's, Legion's gadget is very powerful. Um, Legion has these things called goo mimes, and they're basically cloaked caltrops. You can toss them on the floor, and they're invisible pretty much unless you've brought IQ, which is another buff for IQ. Um, players that step on the goo mine, they are unable to run, and they're stricken with motion altering effects. And that basically means, like, you start tilting again like Echo's drone, you can't run, and also you get a damage over time effect. So you can actually stop all of these effects but you have to pull the caltrop out yourself and that means that you need to obey an on-screen button prompt so what you do is you um you know you hold down f and you pull it out of yourself but while you're doing that your gun is down you cannot defend yourself and you can't run off anywhere safe to do it because you can't run so while players can push on with those disorientating effects i think in reality oh i'm losing my voice but we can blame this on gamescom right i think in reality that you're going to need to immediately take care of this issue. Now, effects that disoriented players are really powerful in Siege because a lot of the battles, especially as we get to a higher tier level of play, they're won by whoever lands the first headshot or whoever can put a burst accurately into the other player. Now, when you mess with someone's vision you're and also disable their ability to run, the goo mines are really punishing. So if you're ill-prepared, if... If you can't put down proper cover and fire, or if you catch the attacker's Roma with the goo mine, then they are they're weak and you can take them out. Um, I mean, you've seen footage now, this is the new map, Theme Park. Now, it has the same problem as many of Rainbow Six Siege's new maps, is that it's too complicated to learn up front, so a press preview is very difficult. Um, something, some general thoughts is that... Uh, the map wasn't that interesting. There are occasional bits of like fairground scenery and paraphernalia, but it feels like a fight in a warehouse. It's a series of small rooms that are tied together with destructible surfaces. And I think with some familiarity, the the, uh, the structure will start to reveal itself. I mean, I had a lot of issue with, uh, with Border when it first came out because it was quite a confusing two-level map. But now I understand the full thing. And I feel like because Siege's maps are quite complex and they tend to be kind of nested because of the destructibility, it's something that needs a lot of playtime. But at least for now, I feel like fights in this map are going to be close ranged and dirty. So uh, it's going to work really well for someone like Ela's flanking techniques. But I would also expect people like Kavera to dominate. Now, uh, Kavera can run around the place quite quickly and I think she'll be able to get interrogates and pick teams apart with guerrilla tactics and so I feel like you'll see a lot of people running around up close um, and those are uh, those are our thoughts so thanks for watching I guess you could like and subscribe but uh, just enjoy our Gamescom coverage cheers